Music's great. Okay. A lot of crochet going on. <laughs> it isn't there. Now, one, I'm assuming, did you crochet them? I didn't. I'd love to learn. My friend did them for me. It's ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, honestly, you should see my cupboard at home. It's, it's like crochet Batman. Like, just one. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So I was because I spotted the first one. I don't know if we can see it again. Um, if we can see the first one, the first like video, um, you've got this this brilliant crochet mm. jacket. But there's a whole story behind even forgetting the song at the moment yeah. behind this. One, it was warm. 40 degrees in a crochet jacket, not the best choice. Okay, but the place your the video set. Yeah, so this is in Serbia. This is a total fake town. All of this, like, I mean, it does exist, but there's nothing behind those doors. Um, it's a set of a reality TV show over there that I've, I've learned since, ah. which is like, it's pretty wild. I can't remember the name of it, but I've got four of those exact crochet jackets because there's four stunt doubles in that video. So we had to make all the same outfit. So if you want one of those, let me know because they're, they're cluttering up my cupboard. But was the same crochet jacket the one you were with? Because you were then in Ibiza. Was yeah, that's the a same, different one. A that's, different one? Yeah, it's a different, oh, so you, di different got, design. It was a different, different color. Yeah, different, different color palette. Spanish, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, different crochet. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you wear them very well. Thank you very you much. You wear them very well. So where do, where do we start with kind of what's been happening with you since last Eurovision? Um, yeah, it's been a bonkers year. Um, lots of things that I couldn't ever have expected or, um, yeah wished for, you know, like it's just absolute blessings and obviously all down to people supporting and being encouraging and um, yeah. For those that don't know your story, they get your mm. sort of background, and I know you're such a positive person, but if you were to pick a point when you were at a diff in a very different place, like at a low ebb, <laughs> and take us through, you know, the nice. short version of the journey, what would that be? Well, what would you put us to, to compare and contrast? It's probably the same. There's probably um, musicians or artists watching this this morning that are in the same position. Like, you work for... Like, I started playing guitar and singing when I was 14 years old. And from that point until, like, two years ago, you're just getting absolutely peppered with failure, non-stop, constantly, rejection. every day. Like, so you're picking these tiny little crumbs of, you have to be positive, because otherwise you're doomed, you're stuffed, because otherwise what are you, what are you gonna like, live on? So these little breadcrumbs, what, like maybe see, like BBC Introducing plays your song on the radio, and you're like, okay, maybe I've got something. Hey, mum, check this out, they played me on the radio today, and like, that keeps you going for a little bit longer. And then you play a gig and there's actually someone there instead of just the person cashing up the till. Like, all you've of done, these things, they're done, important. You've done gigs like that, have you? hundred percent. I've done most of my gigs like that. <laughs> like, it's just what it was. And um, so now, like, that people are coming to the shows, I count myself incredibly lucky and privileged. Like, I've got a lot of friends out there that are still doing that, and I've got so much respect and admiration because you've got to have that, like, spirit that says, I will never give up. Like, music is too important for me. I don't need to be, like, successful in, in the eyes of, like, stats and numbers, but music has given me enough that I can just keep doing it. And, yeah, got tons of respect. I'll always remember that. You um, may be filling halls now. You may be filling, you know, performing and people are turning up, but... Well, I'm just going to show what you were doing <laughs> yesterday. Let's have a look. You have the voice of an angel, I may just say. Um, that was that St Peter's Square in Manchester. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for anyone who was just walking around on a crisp December day, I wish I had four crochet jackets yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> put them all on. <laughs> what? How did that come about? Uh, we, we're just trying to do this like all over the UK at the moment. Um, you can really get, I, I guess, like just stuck in this strategization of music like on social media and I wouldn't be here without like that sort of sharing videos on TikTok and Instagram it's vital and it's so important and crucial for any artist but at the same time you've got to have a foot in both worlds and just like music's about connecting it's only in recent history that we're like industrializing it so much like we shared stuff for millennia songs stories and it's about Round connection campfires. exactly with mm. people like trying to um create something tangible in the space between yourself and someone that you don't know. So that's what it's... it's so how about. were people reacting? 
Um, no, went, that's me what and you... walked off. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've been lovely. They've been like just curious, open-hearted, and um, supportive. Like it's it's a unifier, you know. This might sound a really silly question, but if I had, didn't know you could sing the way you can sing, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know you could from talking to mm. you. Your voice, when it soars, like Naga mm. said a moment ago, is extra. It is just stunning. When, did when you... I talk, I sound like a cracked bell. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, but I think that was you... Charlie's yeah, yeah, yeah. polite way of saying <laughs> yeah. that. When but don't did take you? Offense. When did you? When did that? Like, did, was there a moment? Can you remember going? Do you know what? I've got this. I, this is <laughs> this is a thing I've got that maybe other people haven't. Remember? I don't know. I, it's been something I've been just working on always. Like I, I sang S Club Seven, Reach for the Stars, when I was a kid in primary school. Got absolutely rinsed for it. I remember, but. Like, I loved it. What, in it. the school concert? School it was concert. at the school assembly. What, because right. be, people said it was embarrassing? or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just like... And what was the voice like then? How old were you? Were you... Uh, I think I was probably about seven. OK. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but I've just been singing since then, found a, a love for it. It brought me a lot of joy. Uh, it's something just to, to work on. Uh, it, I don't know, lit up my soul. <laughs> but back to that, that, th that thing about, where, you know, that, that voice we know now so yeah. well. Oh, I just sang constantly to Iron Maiden, Journey, Queen, like just in my bedroom, you know, like you're just singing along to your heroes and it, it develops and it's just for years and years. So Eurovision happened, brilliant. Mm -hmm. You're seeing in the new year, yeah. you're seeing out, seeing 2022 yeah. out, seeing 2023 mm -hmm. in, how? Um, we were working on this the day before yesterday and let me tell you, so much work has gone into this show on BBC One. Um, I was singing for 10 hours straight. I've never done that in my life before, so that's probably why I sound like a cracked bell now. Um, but it's, yeah, I just, I don't want to say too much about it. Like, everyone knows the guests. We've got Melanie C, Justin Hawkins, House Gospel Choir and Sigrid. Justin Hawkins, there's a voice that can soar. Yeah, he is a legend. He's so fun. Like, when he walks in the room, it's just, like, just brings the joy. Lead singer of the darkness, I should say, yeah, yeah, just yeah. in case anyone doesn't know. So we've got all that talent, got a lot of music. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be there. Uh, crocheted uh, yeah. jackets, will they be I can't, on? I can't confirm or deny you, oh, come the, on. The, uh, this is, the presence the, of crochet. We're going to put you oh, under pressure here. Give us a little something. Will, will they or will they not be crocheted jackets? I didn't bring crochet to New Year's Eve. No, no, no. But there are equally fantastic outfits. I'll give you a crochet jacket. If, you, if you're desperate to have one, I'll give you one. But people have been wanting to know. Uh, they, so they might be making an appearance on New Year's Eve or definitely not? Defin definitely not. Definitely oh. not. I oh, know, I'm gutted too. We should axe the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a, com have a complete Let's reshoot. Re yeah. The whole thing. <laughs> uh, it's a delight having you here this Thank morning. You Thank so you so much. You bring Appreciate great, it. great energy. Ah, likewise. As well Thank as the, you. as well as the angelic voice. <laughs> even though you sound have like you a said hello girl. to Matt on the weather? He's yeah. just hello, over there. Matt. Hello, How's hello, it going? Hello. Do you get your weatherboard working? Oh, always. It looked Gosh. like Windows 98 when I walked in there. You know, don't give the game away. You're not supposed to. I mean, yeah, I was. It was seamless. That is so bang on. That is so bang on about Matt's traumas earlier on. Sam, thank you so much. Nice thank you for joining us. Sam's Cheers. debut album, There's Nothing But Space Man, is out today. Go on then. Uh, does it work, Matt? Is it yeah. working? It's all working.